the past of Mayo Nedger. Mayo Nedger's dream has always been to become a big action movie star. Until one day, the evil Lord Gorkil brainwashed Mayo Nedger into believing he was going to be in a real action movie. Because of his fierce looks, Mayo Nedger was recruited by his master to guard an important mayonnaise distribution field. Now he hopes to defeat his enemies in the timeless movie to win the award of the Film Academy of the Land of Food. What are you made of? Mmm, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Me? Yeah, I like it from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your teeth are pretty bad, aren't they? <laughs> wow, right. Can you show your favorite move to the people at home? <laughs> Oh dear! I knew it wasn't going to end well! <laughs> the Pass of Karnak! One of the first followers of Lord Dorkul is Mighty Karnak! Pharaoh of the land of the Great Pyramids of Meringues, Karnak conquered many lands with his army of statues. Although it's very difficult to lead an army that prefers to stand and pose. Today his empire is vast, and he is still covering the whole world with his meringues! <laughs> Mighty Karnak, uh, how are you? What do you have in your hand? Is it something sweet? Could it be meringues? No, 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 no thank you. Uh, can I call you Big Meringue? Wow! Your, your statues, uh, they're, they're alive? <laughs> right then, okay, Karnak, until next time. <laughs> the past of Almondagoni. This is the story of the mighty Almondigoni. His life changed after he was adopted by the dreaded, well, I'd rather not say his name. Since he was little, he has always bothered many with his powerful tone of voice. Following the order of his mentor, he ruled the underworld of saturated fats. His goal is to spread fat all over the world. He was soon known by many and respected by all. The mighty Homo Dagoni! Hello, mighty Almondagoni. How are you? Hey, hey, wait a minute. What? Why are you all black and white? Oh, wow. Good. A lot better. And, and, and what is that cheeky hat you have? Is it where you, you... Oh, oh okay. You're, you're going crazy. Uh, I get it. Oh, you're ignoring me. <laughs> Fine. Okay, stop.
Johnny. Johnny has always had a close-knit family. His father was a great example, his hero. Then his father started to have serious health problems caused by poor nutrition. Johnny's mother vowed to teach her son everything he needed to know so he would not get sick like his father. Johnny became very aware of the things he could eat and learn to fight bravely to resist those delicious temptations. To help him with his struggle, Johnny counts on a great hero and friend. Hello, Johnny. How are you today? <laughs> Is it true that you love to eat lots of sweet things? <laughs> Did you know that children love it when you turn into Super Johnny? <laughs> wow! <laughs> but Carl doesn't like it when you get his leaf without asking, does he? <laughs> uh, what? You have Carl's leaf with you? You're going to turn into Super Johnny for us? Uh oh! Oh! <laughs> well, thank you, my friend. Uh, bye, Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> the past of PB Bot. They say that one day the mighty Lord Gorkle ordered Toppenheimer to build an evil robot that manufactured peanut butter made with lots of extra sugar and non healthy preservatives. The robot received everything that he needed to build a lot, but a lot of peanut butter for his hungry creator. What no one was expecting was that one day PB Bop would rebel and try to make his own product, Johnny's Paste. The robot elaborated an evil plan to lure Johnny to his factory and ordered that his army seize him. But he wasn't counting on the surprise apparition from our hero Carl that rescued his faithful friend Johnny. Defeated, BB Bot swore that it would return even more powerful. <laughs> Hello, BB Bot. Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, right? Uh, robot noises. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll take it as a yes. <laughs> Uh, would you like to say something to the camera? Oh! Ooh, what's that? Oh! Oh, hey! Uh, I can't see anything! Someone turn on the light! <laughs> <laughs> the 
the past of Pancalf. Legend has it that a powerful sorcerer took possession of a magical citadel inhabited by greedy beings who loved candy. There, he transformed everyone into caramel pancakes so they could be his subjects. The sorcerer was known as the Terrible Pancalf. He had to install loads of speakers to be able to talk to his entire kingdom. The speakers were very expensive. Pancalf started to catch children to sweeten their lives. <laughs> Sweet pancake, is that it? Uh, I, I noticed you're the quiet kind of guy. They say your staff is very powerful. I, I, is it magical? Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, whoa. Oh, uh, gee. Oh, uh, uh, whoa. Uh, commercials. Uh, uh, come to the commercials. <laughs> past of Ninja Fries. An ancient prophecy says that one day, the world will be dominated by candies, sweets, and fried foods. And Ninja Fries are the keystone of this story. The prophecy tells of the battles between healthy forces and unhealthy forces. And so, whenever a fry is born, she is sent to the traditional Ninja Academy of Golden Fries of the West to train and become a skillful ninja fry. There, they learn to fight, throw stars, work as a team, and make beautiful wool crochet pieces. The location of this famous academy is a heavily guarded secret among the fries. But Carl found it in no time using the GPS on his phone! <laughs> What's your name? Yeah. It, is it is it true that you? Oh, uh, whoa! Uh, uh, is it true that you disappear and, and reappear with your ninja smoke? <laughs> wow! <laughs> and, and that your brothers are nuts? <laughs> Ouch. Ooh. Oh, oh, that was hurt. <laughs> well, until next time. The past of Cookie Pirate. It all started when Cookie Pirate found a map to the land of cookies. He became obsessed with piracy. The teacher took his map and kicked him out of school. He was so angry, he decided to become a real pirate. He spread his evil everywhere. One day, he returned to get the map that had been stolen from him. Now, with the map in hand, the Cookie Pirate can find the land of cookies and build his army to take over the world! Hi, Pirate Cookie! H how are you? They say you've hurt a lot of people. What do you think of that? We know you have a map of the land of cookies. Did, did you bring it with you? <laughs> uh, how, how did you lose your hand? Uh, did, did it hurt? Oh, oh our time is up. Uh, until next time.